Hey guys, it's Trent here from Animal Warforge, bringing you another unboxing video for the new Eldar release for the 6th edition. In front of us here we have the Eldar Hemlock Race Fighter. This is the new Flyer. Or it's also the option to be a Crimson Hunter, which is the new Aspect Warrior, which is a Flyer, which I think is a bit strange, but it's pretty cool. So let's open it up here. Inside we have a flying base. Generic with all flyers. Pretty awesome uh, instruction manual on how to assemble it. Like the race guard one, it's quite detailed. And it comes with two sprues. So this is the chassis. Top, bottom, wings, fuselage joint. Oh. Up to something. There we go. We'll leave that out. We've got a canopy and the wings, I guess, all the additions. So put this aside and we'll get a bit of have a close up of these models. No, not models, the sprue. So we'll start off with. The accessories, I guess. So these bottom wings here is attached to the fuselage uh, engine parts, and that will make it the Crimson Hunter, which is the Aspect Warrior. So all these fairly basic wings. Same with this thing that goes at the back of the, the chassis. This one at the top that represents the Hemlock Fighter nice long Eldar race bone vein. It's quite cool. And another one as well, just below it. Um, these are for the actual engines themselves. They're just the thrusters, I guess. We've got our weapons. Some bright lances, star cannons, and deep sides. Um, let's flip it over. We've got the pilot in there. Pilot's legs in the cockpit. And the engine parts, I guess, on the top of it. Fairly basic spur. Not a lot of parts, I guess. So it'll be fairly easy to assemble. And here we have the chassis. Tip there and the bottom and the wings. Not a whole lot to show really, just a bit of parts. But when it's put together, I think it makes a really dynamic model. Um, the possibility of magnetizing these, you could probably do it um, if you're skilled with magnetization. Uh, magnetization. And magnetizing models. I should have just said that. <laughs> you could probably do it. Um, it. Looks like these little bits in here. Oops, hold it up with my hand. Looks like they just connect in to these slots here. Okay. The angle right. Um, so you could probably even pin it. Um, magnetizing would be probably the better option. I might not. Um, I'm probably going to get more of these. I had a quick squeeze over at the um, Codex and they look really nice and quite fieldable. So you might go for multiple. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot I can really say about this kit, but I can't wait to build it, like the other kit, which if you want to see an unboxing video of this guy, click on him now, click on him to see what's inside that box, so yeah.
guess I'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see other older unboxing videos, have a look at my channel, subscribe if you like them, um, and like this video if it made you want it. Because just seeing the picture wanted me to get it. Made me get it. So, I'm playing Elgar. You just gotta get these new models. So stay tuned for another unboxing video. Um, I'm covering the Wraith Knight, Fighter, and Wraith Guard today. And the Codex. And next week I'll be doing uh, the HQs. So... Stay tuned. Cheers for watching. Thank you. Adios. Goodbye. Sayonara!